Hi, it's Gary DeBach in Puyallup, Washington, USA, and we have a new design 100 millimeter long 3 inch baby FSL, which of course is slightly smaller than any other FSL I've made. Uh, let me just run down the construction here so you can see a few of the details. It has 34 turns of the 1162 slash 46 Litz wire, uh, pretty much the most sensitive medium wave Litz wire available commercially. And um, the 100 millimeter long Russian surplus ferrite rods, it's kind of a challenge to fit on the 34 turns. Uh, I think if I had any shorter ferrite material, uh, so a coil like this is not going to work. But this one does work. It works very, very well, in fact. Uh, as you can see, the diameter here, this baby FSL, only barely three inches, 76 millimeter, and the highest quality components just barely fit on this short frame here. Got the 384P variable cap and uh, extremely sharp, uh, razor sharp tuning, very high sensitivity design. So uh, this 100 millimeter long three inch baby FSL, I do plan to make quite a few of these and hopefully make the waiting list a little bit uh, shorter than what it is right now for baby FSLs. Anyway, let me put this three inch FSL here down and give it a little test. I have a daytime DX fringe station which is 980 CKNW. This is in Vancouver, British Columbia. Uh, Vancouver, BC is about uh, 156 miles to the north of here. And uh, CKNW 980 is a 50 kilowatt station. It's pretty much at the um, fringe range limit of the daytime DXer signal, but let's see what we get on the stock CC Skywave. Okay, 980CKNW has a talk format, and um, maxing out the volume here on the stock CC Skywave I come up with something about S1. I hear a male voice, but definitely nothing to shout about. Anyway, let me move it into the pre-tuned Baby FSL range. The Baby FSL is tuned to 980, so you'll hear the increase. Adjust the tuning on the baby FSL to peak it. And once again, move it in and out to uh, peak the distance between the FSL. Okay, so we took the S1 signal of 980 CKNW. I think we got it up to about S7, S8. On um, the ferrite rod FSLs only, you can also get a signal boost off to the side. Let's see what we get off to the side of this. Sometimes the side boost 
is greater than the front boost. Make sure that you line up the loop stick inside the stock radio with one of the ferrite rods on the FSL. So in this case we are getting a larger signal off of the side. It's about S9. Starting to overload the uh, CC Skyway. Here's the front boost again. Uh, actually about the same, about S9 on both now. Okay, once again, taking it out of the FSL range. And maxing out the volume. I hear a ghostly signal. Just barely enough to hear a man talking in there. So, you can see why one of these baby FSLs really does a job. And they do make a big difference chasing weak signals. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day.